now we're going to have the last team, and the last team will be a Frontier. Let's welcome Frontier Cool Inc. And presenter is a co-founder, Wayne. Wayne, it's your stage. Go ahead. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Wayne. I'm a co-founder of Frontier. Um, we're building a collaboration SaaS platform, software as a service, specifically for the textile and apparel industry global wide. These are the opportunities. So if you take a look at the image on the right, it's uh, currently what has been done in the industry is making physical samples. As you can see on the right hand side, making a sample takes 45 days, taking the product to market is actually 300 days. And then eventually 40 to 80% of those will become stock. On the left hand side is computer aided design. It takes one day to make a sample. It takes seven to 14 days to ship the actual product to the hands of consumer. And most importantly, the result is zero stock, zero inventory. So how come such a beautiful world doesn't exist right now? It's because these are the modules that you're seeing, but then what the industry is lacking is that there's not enough digital fabric files available. So we exist to fill that gap. Um, one is digital transformation for the entire fashion in the, uh, apparel manufacturing industry. And then the other one is we focus on fabric digitization. Now, what, what is the solution? The solution is that we use the software to connect one side that's hungry, that provides a lot of data, and the other side is very hungry for data. For example, brands, retailers, consumers, designers, and et cetera. These guys are hungry for all the data that's buried inside the supply chain. Now, um, what we do is that we allow our users to scan their fabric material, and then we keep a lot of cloud computing in the cloud. So you can rapidly digitize your soft goods material. Um, this is our user interface, basically is a uh, single digital point designation and then we, bury, uh, we embody, integrate a lot of user interaction that includes different kinds of search, easier to find. Basically, Googleize the entire sourcing process. These are the areas where we use machine learning or AI. One is natural language processing and actually basically one and three pattern color weave is to help the uh, entire search experience. Two is the, the metadata behind each soft good material is that we can feed to other applications such as 3D design or PIM systems. Four is a color calibration digital approval part that helps brands to control their color management in the bulk stage. Now, this is the, uh, I, the, the world after once we, the industry, implement digital workflow in computer design. Um, these are the problems that we solve. These are the partners that we currently work with. CGS is based in New York PLM system. C Design is based in France. They're also a PLM system. Um, Bespokeify um, is a on-demand manufacturer and VF is the largest 3D design software service company in the world. The main reason that these companies integrate onto our platform is because we provide a most comprehensive and easy to understand environment to store, hold, transfer, share digital fabric materials. These are the brands that our users currently reach on the platform. Um, this is a press release that we did with Virtuality Fashion is an Israel based company. The reason of our joint collaborations to accelerate the industry toward virtual prototyping because it's more sustainable that way just to add an extra point. Um, Fashion 5.0 is what we're going after. Um, basically, we can, the joint, the joint effort of us two, we can brands and designers can very quickly, rapidly design so many prototypes and then we can put that digital profile on different e-commerce sites. Once the consumer place order makes payment, then we go into decentralized, customized, on-demand production. That's what we're going for. That is the zero, zero inventory retail that we're going to be facing maybe five years, eight years down the road. <clears throat> um, the uh, textile turnover is 1.8 trillion. Um, what's to notice is the 6.5 billion is industry software spending. And uh, we estimate it will grow by five times in the next five years too. Um, this is our subscription model with a uh, yearly $6,600 and then globally estimate is 200,000 enterprise users. And then the total market cap is 1.3 billion. So that's 1% penetration, we get that revenue, 10%, we get 130 million. Uh, teams, we come from different backgrounds with engineering, marketing, finance, and global strategy. Uh, these are some of our media coverage. What's worth noting is sourcing journal is pretty mainstream in the US, which PIM is 
in UK, WTIN, Textile World, these are mostly the uh, US-based apparel mainstream media companies that have been following us um, since last year. And then that concludes my um, presentation. So I'm open for questions. Thank you, Wing. Thank you. So now let's have our judge to give us the score for Wing's presentation. Yes, I, I, give, them, uh, I give them a seven. Seven. Thank you, Peter. Mm -hmm. Jeff? I give them eight. Okay, thank you. Vicky? Seven. Seven. And Ray? Uh, six and a half. Thank you. So who's going to ask a question? Ray, you want to ask, you want to ask a question, Ray? Um, sure. Um, I understand the needs for this. Um, so far, you, you mentioned there's a lot of partners. Do you have any real customers and uh, what's the revenue today? Um, our revenue right now, we, a company is founded in April and then we're trying to approach, we're trying to accumulate 100 users by end of year. Currently, we're about 50% achievement rate. And then these, these, um, these, Paying customers include fabric makers, garment manufacturers, converters, basically all the players in the supply chain. Right now for the brand side, we currently let, let them use for free until we can segment their different types of usage before we will start charging them. In the meantime, we still charge the supply chain. So the suppliers pay, pay you, right? The supplier put correct. fabric information onto your system, right? Not only they do the work, they also pay you to be sourced to be somebody else. That, that's correct. The reason they have incentive to do this is that in the past six months, due to COVID-19, uh, exhibitions no longer exist. Everything is going virtually. So a lot of the suppliers and even brands want to launch their material assets into the cloud. That's one area. And then secondly, it's for remote, remote collaboration work between factory and the brand. That's why a lot of people moving want to move to the cloud to continue this material development process. And then I would say these are the, uh, the reasons why they provide us data, but then also want to pay for the service. Sure, understood. Um, I'd like the other judges, Jimmy, for, for Thank questions. You. Yeah. Yeah. Any I have a question. question. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, who are your, uh, your competitors? Um, currently, we're, we, have, we face another company that's based in California. Um, they do something similar, but then I would say there are two factors how we're different. One is that we kind of operate like a YouTube, so we give users the tools so you can digitize your material. Our competitor, what they do is that they have a central station where they do all the material digitization in the world. For example, I have to send my physical samples to a location in China for them to do the digitization. That's one thing. Secondly, is that for each material, it costs between 15 US dollar to even more. Perhaps they have some kind of package deal to encourage users to do that. That's one thing. So I, I believe by design with our YouTube model, we accumulate materials much, much faster by design. That's number one. And then secondly, is that we allowed our users to share or not share their materials. On the other hand, what our competitors, Swatchbook, Swatchbook, what they're doing is that they, they wanna, they, they're grabbing material data left and right, but then you, as a user, as a factory, you gain no control of what that material eventually will be used or picked up or adopted by any brand. So it's more of a, it's a different, different approach. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Wayne. Your time is up. Thank you, Wayne, and thanks for Jack's. <laughs>